Hi guys, welcome again to another video. And in this video on how to apply for the diversity visa lottery, I want to explain clearly what it means by the marital status. The item number 14 in the DV application form. And here is what it says. What is your current marital status? How are you to fill this area correctly? And we have several categories of cases to fill in in this category. The first one is unmarried. Unmarried, of course, stands for all those individuals that are single. And this means that even those who are single and have kids, it also means all those that have girlfriends or boyfriends. You are not married, you are single. It also means those who are engaged. If you are engaged, you are still single because you are not married. Also, it includes those who are cohabiting. If you are living with someone, but you are not legally married, you are also single. And all those categories, you select unmarried. And listen carefully. You select unmarried if you are single, if you have girlfriend or boyfriend, if you are engaged or if you are cohabiting. That means you are not legally married. The second category is now married and my spouse is not a U.S. citizen or U.S. lawful permanent resident. LPR. This category is for all those people who are married and legally married. That means they have the marriage document, but their spouses are not U.S. citizens or they are not holding the green card visa. They are not lawful permanent residents. The next category is married and my spouse is a U.S. citizen or U.S. lawful permanent resident. If you are married legally and your spouse is currently a United States citizen or is a holder of the green card, this is what you select. So if your wife is in the United States and is a lawful permanent resident or is a United States citizen, then you select this category. And many people have been mixing the two. Make sure when you're selecting, you read carefully and select what your category is. Don't mix these two. The fourth category is divorced. Divorced simply means separated legally. And it implies that you were once legally married and you had your marriage document. But later on in life, you separated under a court proceeding and you are issued with the separation documents. So if you're holding the separation documents, then you can select divorced. One thing to note is you cannot choose divorced if you are living with someone as your spouse for many years and then you are not, you are not holding the marriage document, or you are not legally married, and you ended up separating, in that case, you don't select divorced. Because how will you prove that you are divorced? You don't have 
the separation documents. So if you were living or you are staying with someone as your spouse, but you had no legal documents to show your marriage, then you don't select this because you cannot attain a divorce certificate. I hope that point is clear because some of the subscriber once asked on that. The next level, number five, is widowed. Widowed means that you are legally married and that means you had the marriage certificate but your spouse passed on and therefore you were issued with the death certificate of your spouse. So for you to select widowed, it means that you are holding the death certificate of your spouse. So you can prove that you are widowed. But if you are not if you are not holding any death certificate of your deceased spouse, you cannot claim that you are widowed. How will you prove that you are widowed? You must be holding the death certificate. Legally separated, these are for those people that were once married legally, but they decided to separate. And they have a court proof a court document that proves their separation. Then you select legally separated. And down here, in conclusion, we see legal separation is an arrangement when a, cop when a couple remained married but live apart. So you are married, but you are living apart. Following a court order, married but you are living apart because of some reason or another and ordered by the court. If you and your spouse are legally separated, your spouse will not be able to immigrate with you through the diversity visa program. Your spouse in the legally separated marriage will not travel with you, will not immigrate with you. You will not be penalized if you choose to enter the name of the spouse from whom you are legally separated. If you are not legally separated by a court order, you must include your spouse even if you plan to divorce before you apply for the diversity visa. Failure to list your eligible spouse is grounds for disqualification. So, if you are planning to apply for the divorce or for separation, but you have not yet applied for it and you are making your entry into the diversity visa lottery, you will have to include your spouse because you have not yet separated. And if you don't include, then you are disqualified. So if you're planning to divorce or to separate legally, but you have not yet, and it is the application period for the DV lottery, include the spouse even if you are later going to be separated. Don't fail to include the spouse. And with that, I come to the end of this video and I hope the information is clear and elaborate. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's meet the next one.